All right, guys, just finished off this one TV dash in primer. I made uh, several videos on this dash. This will be the last one. Primer did about, I don't know, two hours ago. So it's still curing up right here. Um, right before I primered it, I had to cut out the speakers areas for this customer. He wanted that done. Also, here's your uh, speaker grills. I'll show you how thick they are that I cut out. Okay, those are garbage. Also, the last customer I shipped out of 1TV Dash, I did look into it. I forgot to cut your speaker grills out, so I owe you, I believe, $75. So you'll see that coming into your PayPal account soon. I'll refund you that money. And I apologize for, uh, I think it was Mr. Laundry. Uh, I apologize for not cutting it out for you. I totally forgot to do it. Um, I will be making a separate video on how you can cut yours out because it's really not that hard. And I'll, I'll kind of show you how to do it. In the next video after this one but um yeah this is the dash for the customer one tv dash remember when you get this thing don't paint it the way it is it still needs to be sanded with 400 grit wet sandpaper uh wet or dry and uh don't don't paint the dash until you have everything installed and you got it the way you want and then then i'd recommend even sanding it after that wait to sand it until you got the electronics in there where you want the TV, everything set up the way you want it. Then I would recommend sanding it down with 400. And um, you see like little, I dabbed it with a little bit primer here and there. Found some solvent pops. I just dabbed a little bit of primer on there while the primer, before the primer was dry. And that's why you see little, little spots here and there. And that's just little tiny spots I filled in that I found were not perfect. And I'd rather have it a high spot where that you can go in and just sand that off than it be like a solvent pop, a little uh, hole, and then you have to fill it. So I don't want you to have to do any filling. That's why I do that. What else? Um, uh, all this stuff needs to be cut out by you. The TV, the electronics, the voice box, all that. But I did get the defroster cut and the speakers. You paid for that. So that's it for this uh, dash. Hope you uh, like it when you get it. I'll be shipping it out a couple days. I like to let the primer sit a day or two that way it vents all that smell all the vocs come out of it by sitting and curing i've uh shipped parts were actually shipped it the next day and the customers have gotten it and they complained hey, it smells really bad and it's because it's the primers um you know it has some some uh smells to it some vocs to it so i like to get those out and i got the heat on in the shop i got it up to about 60 degrees so this thing's uh drying nicely and I did have a 50 I think it was 55 degrees when I primered all this stuff so yeah I had good weather today but that's it for this dash one TV dash Knight Rider original all right so about the speaker grills I don't know which style you have there's two different styles speaker grills so I just wanted to note put this note in there for you there's one that's rounded on the edge and it actually has uh, standoffs at the bottom where you actually screw into them and then this one, it just has like little clips in there on the top and at the bottom. So I didn't know which style you had. So what I did was I measured this one because they're both the same measurement. And I just gave you the round offs on the edges just in case you have the other style. So it can fit in there. You might have to sand a little bit on the edge to get these to fit in there perfectly. Because I haven't tested those round ones, but they are about the same size as these. If you have this style, the one I have in my hand. All you have to do is take a, a sandpaper and just square off these edges, make them more straight, and this will fit right in there. Okay. And uh, the way you mount these is with some epoxy. Okay. Um, you could use Bondo, but I wouldn't recommend using Bondo. I would, if you're going to use a filler to mount these permanently, I would use Bondo glass because it has uh, reinforced fiberglass in it. It's stronger. It won't crack on you. I've, uh, it gets hot in the car, you know, if this thing's, uh, if the Bondo heats up to you know, 150 degrees on a hot day, it could crack real easily, and then it, you'll have a mess on your hands where you have to fix it. So I recommend using uh, the Bondo glass if you're going to mount these in there permanently. These, do, these are not included. Uh, if you need these, they, I have seen on eBay for about $45, I believe a set, you can buy these ones, uh, the rounded off ones. I, I don't see too many square ones on there. A couple, I think I saw one one on there on ebay 
All right, guys, here's the older style grills that have the tabs, and that's the newer style. You can see they're almost the same size, pretty much the same size, but the difference is one has a curved radius on the edge, and the older one has just a straight one. And these ones mount with little uh, standoffs. They're plastic. They break very easily. They're ABS. Um, yeah, and then a screw. So, But on my dashes, I just cut it out for you. Like I, like I mentioned, and then you just epoxy them. This one's actually been, uh, uh, I think I used Bondo on these ones. Let me show you. All right, so actually these ones have been, I fiberglassed over these. Okay, you can see. I originally, I think I put Bondo on this one. And the Bondo had started to crack a little bit. And the speaker grill started getting, getting out of place. So what I did was I just put it back in place. Uh, put some tape on the other side. And then I just fiberglassed over that that little lip but again if you use uh bondo with a reinforced fiberglass in it it shouldn't uh crack on you or anything like that all right so that's how i mount my speaker grills again you can use epoxy two-part epoxies those work really well as well okay, i got all kinds of epoxies here here's an epoxy marine that's good for fiberglass or whatever and this is a two-part epoxy you put your speaker in there, you flip this thing over, and from the back side, you're just going to put epoxy on that edge all the way around. And that, that'll hold it permanently. As long as you don't bash on it or anything, it should stay there permanently for you. So I just wanted to make a quick note of that on how you install those grills. And uh, good luck with your project, and thank you for your order, man, and your patience. All right, all right so if you got a dash and you want to add speakers in your dash, you have the speaker grills, all you have to do is take your grills put about one inch away from the defroster and kind of make sure it's straight now this uh, curve should go with the curve of the defroster so when it mounts like that okay that curve should kind of go with this grill that's how it was originally done so all you do is lay it there and etch this out with a pencil and you use your cuts what I like to do is use one of these these bits all right, I like to use these high speed step drill bits. They're called step drill bits because each step it gets a little wider. And what I do is I like to run this on that close to that edge, okay? And I'll do four of them. And then I'll take my cutoff saw, one of these, okay, air saw. And I'll just cut from each hole that I make. I make four of them. Just cut until it's cut out. And then I just take uh, sandpaper and I smooth it out on those edges. Or, uh, me, I use a die grinder. All right, for me, I just use a die grinder really quickly to get it done fast. But you can use a sandpaper on a block and smooth out those edges once you do your cuts. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple to cut out your holes for the speaker grills. Um, yeah, and again, just all you have to do is put them in there, flush, and then from the once you got it flush on there, what you want to do is take some aluminum tape or some masking tape or the blue tape and go around, keep it in place, and then just turn the dash over in epoxy or use some uh, Bondo fiberglass enforced Bondo to keep it in place, and you're good.